I told her to always do what the teacher says. I had no idea that was going to happen. What happened to an 11 year old girl at Mary Ellen Henderson Middle School is simply shocking. I can't believe that it went on as long as it did undetected. Three months? Yeah. Every day? Yes, almost every day. The girl's father has spent a lot of time crying about what Jose Estrada did to his daughter. Your daughter is sitting in the classroom in the back. Yes, and he pulled his chair up next to her every day. And he liked to turn the lights down in the classroom because they hurt his eyes. And that's how he molested her? That's the way it's told. Prosecutors say before coming to Falls Church, Estrada had been forced out of three other local school districts after facing allegations of bad behavior. And prosecutors say the principal at Henderson had told Estrada to not be alone with children. Newly hired superintendent okay, Peter Noonan teacher. disputes that. Uh, where the teacher wasn't actually asked to, to not, st not be alone with kids, but instead to uh, be cautious of the, the high-fiving. There were no red flags that you know of? There was not one red flag that we know of that we were able to discern from any of the conversations that we had with either former employers or uh, the fingerprinting and background checks. Is there nothing the school system can do to make sure students know, hey, if something weird is going on, please let us know? Absolutely. Um, one of the things that we are going to continue to hit with our kids is, you know, don't be afraid, don't be shy, step up if you see something, talk to an adult. I know there are good teachers out there just because they had one bad one, but this person obviously put himself in that position and he knew he could do it. He's guilty. He did it. But the school system is guilty too because they let it happen. And this man's daughter didn't tell anyone about the abuse until another girl came forward. Estrada abused the second girl after school. She fought back and ran home with Estrada following her. In Falls Church, Peggy Fox, WUSA 9.